What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Undrafted Views. Today is our weekly Miami Heat check. We are going to discuss our top five observations from their recent West Coast road trip. Let's get into it. The Miami Heat are currently number five in the Eastern Conference and have lost three of the last four games. What has been your biggest observation? The Heat needs Jimmy Butler on the court. Mm -hmm. Flat out. It's period. I don't even know what else to tell you. Like what he is not on the court, what he brings to their roster is versatility in defense. Mm. Consistent. And without him being there, sometimes the energy falls. It's not consistent throughout the game. So yeah, Jimmy Butler. Jimmy yeah. Butler, Jimmy Butler. And again, Jimmy Butler. <laughs> I'm saying the Heat need him. It is not Cal Lowry like I thought it would be. That has been my biggest observation. Jimmy is the gas that fuels the Miami Heat. Now, Cal Lowry plays a big role. I think he's the engine, but Bam Adebayo and getting him involved, that's the whole car. And they're not going nowhere without the three of them playing effective basketball, period. It's, not, it's just not going to happen, and we were able to see that. I really believe the Heat would have won the game against the Lakers had Jimmy Butler been there for the, the second mm -hmm. half. You know, unfortunately, he was injured. But his play is critical, critical to any deep run and any post run that the Heat thinks they are even about to do. So, mm -hmm. again, yeah. Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler. I have that as one of my biggest observations as well. Oh, yeah. However, mm -hmm. your boy Duncan Robinson, I mean, he is still in his slump. Let's just talk about his productivity over the last four games on the West Coast trip versus Denver. He shot four for eight from the three point line. The Lakers three for 13. When they played the Clippers, he went two for 11 from the three point line. And then with the Jazz, it seemed like he kind of broke out of his slump. Went 6 for 11, 22 points, four rebounds, and four assists. Now, that's the Duncan Robinson I know. Hopefully, he's out of his slump. Eric Spolstra and the team have a lot of confidence in him. They do. But we need more of this from Duncan if the Heat are going to go anywhere. Yeah. You know what? I have Duncan Robinson as one of my observations. And what really helped solidify that observation was the fact that he was able to get up 22 points against the Jazz. If Duncan Robinson does not show up as another three-point shooter on their roster, it's a done deal. And as a matter of fact, they don't have enough. Tyler Hero cannot be the only one that is a sniper from three. It's not, not deep run. No, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. So Duncan Robinson showed a glimpse of himself against the Jazz. Now, what I need for Duncan Robinson to do is build on it. Hopefully, yeah. it was able to spark its confidence and really get him ready for the next set of games because the he needs him to do what they paid him to do in that shoot yes. the ball and make sure it goes into the basket. So, <laughs> yes, absolutely. That was another observation. And I also believe, you know, when Jimmy Butler went out, had Duncan Robinson been able to perform as mm -hmm. he did uh, last season and what he was actually able to put up with the Jazz, they may have had a better chance when the games that they lost. Yeah. Because if you think about it, Tyler Hero actually – became a starter, but he absorbed the points that Jimmy Butler has been putting up. So there was nobody to do additional. And mm -hmm. Duncan Robinson could have been that addition that they needed to help sustain the heat on the three losses that they acquired during this uh, West Coast tour. So, yeah. Yeah. Duncan yeah. Robinson. Coincidentally, you know, the game that they finally won was when Duncan had a breakout game. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Yeah. So can you imagine had he had broken out earlier against maybe against the Lakers? Right. It may have been a different outcome. What I'm saying is that when Jimmy Butler is again, Jimmy Butler is the number one. But when Jimmy Butler is not playing, when you have Tyler Hero as a starter because Jimmy Butler is out, where are the additional points coming from? There are right. no additional points. And Duncan Robinson was should be able to add that. And that's what we saw when they played against the Jazz. Right. But can we talk about how Tyler Hero is really that dude? I mean, he came in, he has no conscience. Tyler Hero might be my sixth man of the year. Hoping Jimmy comes back so Tyler can go back to the bench. The oh Heat need the productivity off the bench, but he is that dude. And you know what, though? I think that if Jimmy Butler's going to be out for an extended time, I'm going to need for him to find somebody else to go into it. Um, Jimmy Butler spot in the starter so they can put Tyler Hero back. Because mm -hmm. if he if he continues to play as a starter, he will not be eligible 
to be six man of the year. And I think that he is on the trajectory to be six man of the year. He is oh. amazing. He will be competing against Montrez Harrell. I'm gonna say it again. Yes. Those two, which is great, right? But Tyler Hero, what I also have him as an observation as well, because what I like is Tyler Hero has been the most consistent, the most consistent player on the Heat roster so far. Mm -hmm. He's going to oh. give you his points. Now, we know that Bam can do what he does, but he sometimes, you know, Bam disappears. Yeah. <laughs> um, you, you hope that Kyle Lowry would give you a fourth quarter performance every time, but he doesn't. But yeah. Tyler Hero, consistent, whether he's on the bench or he's in the starter, you're going to get outstanding play for him. So, yeah. Tyler has been amazing, even in their losses. Um, the last three games against the Lakers, Clippers, and the Utah Jazz, he was 20-plus points per game. His rebounds were up and his assists. What? This is a newfound Tyler hero. I've been riding him ever since last season because I knew that he would have a breakout year, and that's, a, that's what we're seeing right now. Oh, and it's a joy to watch. It is a joy mm -hmm. to watch. But again, we're still early in the season. Can we still? I think once we hit the 20 game mark, we're no longer early in the season. So I'm going to change that phrasing. But right now, we're still early. Mm -hmm. And uh -huh. yes, um, he still needs some support. Again, these people can't do it by themselves. You've got 15, maybe, maybe a, a rotation of nine, maybe. And you only got like maybe two to three players that are doing it. Not enough, not enough, not enough. So yes, Tyler Hero is another observation that he is needed and his contribution. Um, is really beneficial to what the Heat can do in the long term. So, yes. An obs another observation that I have is that does Bam, and this is maybe an observation and a question, does Bam struggle against bigs um, like Jokic, like Anthony Davis? Is that something that we should be concerned about as hmm. the season progress um, when it comes to Bam Adebayo's play? Wow. You know, I know Bam has increased his foot speed and both little players that you mentioned, they like to play out on the perimeter a lot. So I haven't noticed Bam struggling tremendously against them. Mm -hmm. However, those dudes, AD and Jokic. So, OK, so what, what has been like what were Bam's um, what was his productivity against those guys? He was able to be dominant in the Lakers game once Jimmy Butler went out in the third quarter, but then he disappeared in the fourth quarter. Hmm. So it's almost just like it's inconsistent. I just don't know if – I don't know. It's a question. Like, I don't know I have the answer for it. Maybe I'm seeing something that I shouldn't be seeing, and perhaps someone in the comments can drop down and shed some light on it. So I'm just – it's just an observation. It's an observation, right? It's not factual, just something that I'm seeing and something I'm wondering if others, you know, you and uh, people that are watching this video, you know, just have some something different to, that they may have observed that can kind of help me understand what – Perhaps some lack of aggression from Bam Adebayo that maybe I'm missing. I don't know. Mm hmm Okay. Now, what I have noticed are the Heat have really, really upped their turnovers, and they're having a hard time closing out these close games. When they played the Denver Nuggets, they had 13 turnovers in the game. You can't win with 13 turnovers. They have 14 against the Lakers, 15 against the Clippers, and 19 turnovers against the Utah Jazz, but they managed – to win that game, you got to take care of the ball. Yep. 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 Basketball 101. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And I also think they're falling in love with the three ball. I mean, they went, what, 13 for 36 against the Denver Nuggets, 10 for 37 against the Lakers, 9 for 41 uh, against the Clippers and 13 for 33 against the Utah Jazz. That's because they're missing Jimmy Butler to help balance that out. Because Jimmy mm -hmm. Butler has a nice mid-range game. So that's what's missing. Jimmy Butler, again, <laughs> is yeah. the biggest observation. And so when he is not playing, the three ball becomes a crutch. And so yeah. that mid-range game, which he brings, which is a, a, the most benefit to the team, one of the benefits to the team, is lacking. So that's what that is. Yeah. That's and then, you know, and then Duncan, you know, he was missing a bunch of them. Most of it is probably, you know, his misses. <laughs> You know? But you know what, though? He needed to get that in order to get his shot. I'm just hoping that what he was able to produce with the Jazz, 
can continue on. That's just yeah. What I'm and I think about. it will because he is a sniper. Let's not forget yeah. he he was forty five percent from the three point line in the bubble. I mean he was lights out. Right. He was yeah. one of the best uh, best three point shooters in the la the previous season. So mm -hmm. yeah, of course this is a slump, obviously. So I hope he's finally coming out of it. <laughs> so my last observation is I've determined that the Heat are not invincible, and I believe that they were humbled by the back to back losses in Los Angeles. Because they came back and smacked the Utah Jazz. <laughs> they did. Mm -hmm. They did. They did. And maybe that's what they needed. Uh, I would just love to see how they would have performed had Jimmy Butler been healthy. It yeah. just would have been a different, it's a different team, you know. And so it's kind of hard for me overall to rate their level of success when they didn't have their core player, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but what it did, it did identify that there are gaps in their um performance that needs to be fixed and so in 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 essence their losses may be a gain long term because they need you know Eric Spolstra and the other coaches need to see what that was right you get so blindsided by oh Jimmy Butler's doing all of that and he's mm -hmm. and, and everybody looks good again you know when they play with Jimmy Butler but now he's not there and it's like oh wait a minute oh okay we need to work on some things and so I'm kind of glad it happened although you know from a fan perspective it's disappointing but knowing that we're still early in the season the mm -hmm. hope is that whatever gaps they identified during this West Coast tour will be fixed as the season progresses. So that's the, mm -hmm. the silver lining, I guess, in this whole uh, West Coast tour from the Heat. Yeah, exactly. And luckily for Jimmy Butler, he's only out with an ankle. He'll be yeah. back. Yeah, you and know? it's a sprain. I don't know the de the degree of the sprain, but it's not mm -hmm. broken. He don't need surgery, so that's always a good thing. Yeah. yeah, can we talk about how quickly he changed into his street clothes, though? It was on the bench. I was like, what? Jimmy? Okay. I'm done. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. Okay. Oh, out. Mm -mm. Don't even think about asking me to get in. I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that's all we got. So let us know what some of your observations were from the Heat West Coast tour. And let's get into the comments and talk about it. And until next time, goodbye. Peace, y'all.